Hello, hey, how's it going? It's Daryl from Wet Pond. Uh, a while back, I was talking about uh, the wind and waves and ripples, how it can uh, erode away the pond. And just to show how the wave action happens in the pond, we'll head over there, but I'm kind of standing in the garage out of the wind. We have a nice windstorm going on. So we'll see you over there, but you won't see me. I'll be pointing at the pond. Hang on. Bye. Okay, hopefully this isn't too windy, but uh, check it out. Right here, it's kind of smooth. As we start going up and towards the back, we'll walk over there in a minute. It gets pretty choppy. So hold on, we'll get a closer picture of it. Oh, great. Here's the wind, but... type screen. Let's go see if we can find another cool spot. Also you can use rocks to break up the waves which is usually a good idea. They call it riprap around the perimeter of the pond where you have a little step below the water level and the waves would crash up against that. Not like these are huge waves. All this white stuff, yep, that's ice. Still a little chilly out. <laughs> 